the tape came unspooled because I'm using a super cheap player. Let me push this. So we can all see. Okay, there we go. I, I think it's I think it's doing its thing now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It looks like it's not coming unspooled. Um, yeah, the the raffle ticket one. Wasn't it supposed to be like the raffle ticket one in combination with the uh, in combination with like the the buying a private island one? Not no wait no not that one. Oh, it's the, the with the second one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was like a, a first. It was like a combination between the first and second one. Yeah, yeah. There it was. The second one is yeah the island where she starts a society with the talking animals. Oh, yeah. To fulfill yeah. her cheese doodle vision. Yeah, yeah. Her rat snack vision. Yes, she teaches the yeah. animals to talk, but they refuse to talk about sweaters with buttons because they don't wear clothes. Because they're animals. You see, you see, um, I, I, I think it was like supposed to be like a combination between the two here, where it's like she loses her button to her favorite sweater, and. Uh, wins the lottery or something and goes to the island that has the animals on it and then all the stuff in the second one happens but also uh the first one because you know the musical number with the animals and something like that which i don't yeah. know i don't <laughs> well the musical number with the animals could happen no matter what which one true it, that should just happen regardless <laughs> Yeah, I put that as a side note for the first one, but it could work with any of them. Any right. of them. Mm -hmm. So she goes to, so let's start from the beginning. So let's say, do you think we should use Weigel's, Wolfie? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't mind driving the there. Store. I don't. She goes to Weigel's and sees they're having a raffle to win an island at vacation? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't mind driving them um, into the dirt. They've, uh... They've, they've done some dirty stuff, so let them, uh... Dirty dollar. Yeah, dirty dollar. Dirty dollar. I, I would say they're more like the anti-dollar. Oh, the anti-dollar. Everything, everything's expensive, and they only push, like, the most mainstream stuff. All their music is fucking Taylor Swift. Are they rap snacks? snacks? No, they don't even have rap snacks. Oh... And even that parking lot outside the diner had grab snacks. I know, right? <laughs> True. But, uh, yeah, she goes to Weigel's, wins the lottery, uh, turns up at the uh, island with the animals on it, and they have the, the musical number, and, you know, I guess we can inject it, uh, in there that they also like sweaters and cheese puffs. <laughs> Wait a second, now that I'm reading this again. She doesn't actually win the raffle. She can't afford it because the store is cashless and all she has is three million in cash. Oh, right, right. <laughs> that kind of, I think we should use that. Yeah. She decided to go out and buy her own island instead. <laughs> she got a bargain on one because people were weirded out by all the talking animals on it. Right. That's actually good. Um, okay, so, we've got that worked out, the, the grandma bit, which is just supposed to be like a one-off joke inside it, because, you know, obligatory grandma moment, right? Obligatory grandma moment, yes, this is grandma core. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit of grandma core in our, uh, in our Baba-esque <laughs> animation. Yeah. Yeah, I showed Evan the, the, uh... What was it? The video mixtape, I told you, yeah. And then, uh, John, what'd you say he said about the grim? Like, he, he did liked, he say something? Yeah, well, he, he had never even thought about grandma core as being a genre. <laughs> so he was so, that sort of blew his <laughs> mind when he read that. <laughs> blew his mind, that's amazing. It blew his mind. He's, he's, oh, his mind is open to grandma core. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Culpability director yeah. on Grand's Court. 
he threw out the in this court. He threw out the plot for the original plot for culpability too, and he's coming up with a new one. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What if he doesn't know that? There's a culpability too in the works. A second one? Yeah. What's it supposed to be? Big moment. Yeah. And, uh, well, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a sequel or a prequel, right? Well, it, he's, it's gonna be a sequel now. He was throwing around the idea of doing a prequel, but he decided to make it a sequel. Ah. Oh. oh. Grandma's house taken on. On. Is helping a new movie fun time. Oh, yeah, me, me. yeah, I, I see you. But believe the grandma hype. Hashtag grandma core. So, uh, what, when, when, do, when is this going to be released? <sighs> Grandma's house? Yeah. Yeah. He's hoping to release it in the fall, like October, ideally. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Alright, that's that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. And then hopefully we'll be able to work get to work on culpability too in this like spring. Right, right. So what exactly is the sequel going to like what's it gonna consist of? Because it seems like it summed itself up and ended pretty nicely. Yeah. It it yeah. Where we had a plot for the sequel originally that was going to be pretty dark, but he came up with a new one that fits the tone a little better of the original. Hmm. So does he do like something else, or does he fall back into his uh, his, his the way the ways he was in before, or what? Well, there's going to be a new character, a trickster ghost, named Terrence. What? 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 Okay, first of all, how the fuck do you <laughs> oh, wait, remember wait, my wait, name? Wait, 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 wait. How, how do you even know wait. my name? What? Well, no, that wasn't on purpose. Th that was an accident? What? No, that's, I'm just, I'm just now hearing about this. Uh, yeah, it's Pussy's real name. <laughs> that is my real name. <laughs> Wait, for, for real? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought... What? That, that was just a random name that Evan came up with for the new ghost. How... Evan is... He's a... He is an oracle. What the hell? He's so magical. How does he spell it? <laughs> just, just, I'm, I'm curious. How does he spell it? Uh, he, he hasn't written it down. I don't know. He was just telling me. You need to spell it the exact same way because it's supposed to be an honor of you now. No, no, could, no, no, play it. Wait, if this is in spring, you could beat him. You could play it. I mean, I could, but I'm not a member of the college. Oh, you don't have to be a member of the college to be in anything. Oh, you don't? Yeah, that's true. No. That'd be cr why, I wouldn't. Why not, you would be? <laughs> <laughs> you could be, uh... You could be Baba. I'll be a tree. I'll be a tree. <laughs> you could be a tree. Yeah, we can. Wait, I, I think really I do did know. You can beat with it. Huh? I think I did know Terrence was your real name. I just kind of forgot. Oh, okay. But Evan didn't know. If Evan came up with it, yeah. No, yeah, yeah I've, Evan I've, came I've, up with it. I've <laughs> never even met Evan. You need to tell him that needs to... Oh my gosh, you two meeting would be so fun. You need to tell him that needs to be the... You cannot change that name. Yeah. Well, he wanted another T name to go with Tim, so that was how uh, he got Terrence, so, I think. So who, who, <laughs> it, yeah. who exactly is going to be playing this character? Because I remember, I remember like someone came up to me uh, at at like Dollar General, and they were making fun of me because they said eh, Terrence is a black person's name. So like, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be Terrence. My mom said the same thing. Wait for real? Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are people like this? My mom's also kind of a... Yeah. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. 
I would have not have expected. It sounds like she would have been the opposite, but yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that either. Um. So you're saying he was born in the hood. All right, so, um, uh, we'll wait, 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 what is this idea? What is, what is the culpability? There's a trickster ghost named Terrence? Yeah, well, but Ad Evan literally just came up with this new idea two days ago, mm. like, as I was talking to him. Obviously, his nickname will be Whoopi. <laughs> <laughs> well, because originally... Like, my name Clarence, but you, uh, you can call me Whoopi. <laughs> That that would be funny. It's just like him. <laughs> what if you play him? I mean, that'd be amazing. I mean, I I mean, I wouldn't. I don't even know if I'd have the time or not because like the goal is that I'd be working night shift at Giant Eagle when I get up there. I've already discussed it with Kudai. He doesn't seem to mind the idea, so I don't know like if it was. No, I think he might. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about it many times. You're not going to be able to like realistically. Unless you're li unless you're moving to one of our like nearby cities, oh, the there's no way you're gonna be able to like make make it to like Giant Eagle. The bus doesn't go out there. It doesn't go to Giant Eagle. It goes to a neighboring city. You'd, you'd have to still go a bit of ways. Like how many miles? You're gonna have to drive. It's about uh, the, the most the, the most uh, west the bus goes is to the to, to the county line, which is. Uh, you know, you're going to have to drive another 20 minutes just to get to our house, and then maybe another 10 minutes to get to <laughs> So it would just be more realistic to work yeah. somewhere where you move. Damn, okay. So I would still look at work in any city that you're looking at, like when you're looking at the city. Damn, okay. It's also the pay at the sad bird is not going to be worth your your three-hour commute. We'll pay at minimum. I thought it was like yeah, a and it's not like it's not like it is out in Oak Ridge, so you'll be able to get a job at many places. It's uh, not like you're on Oak Ridge at all. Okay. Me and Aiden's work just hired two 15-year-olds the other day. <laughs> yeah. We heard them all. Yeah, but for some reason they can't hire anybody who's like over 15. <laughs> no. Yeah, if you were 15, you'd be prime real estate apparently. Oh, okay, that kind of, like, destroys some of the plans, and I have to start thinking a bit harder on what to do now, but... Okay. Well, I've sent you, like, 30 cities. I've sent you a yeah, ton of cities. Yeah, yeah, there's a ton of cities, it's just, it's just not in our budget. Well, if none of those cities I sent you are in your budget, then you're not going to be able to move, because I've, I've sent you every city in <laughs> I mean, I know the one by, Every like, I, I know, I know, like, you know, Shaker you, Heights. Moraine. Sh Shaker, Shaker Heights, Heights. Is, that That's in our budget. I mean, there's no way, there's nowhere in Lorraine in your budget, because Lorraine is a very, uh, I, you I, know. I think my mom. It's I, not exactly rich. I, I think there was, like, this area by, like, the Cleveland Zoo mom said that was in our budget. Yeah, don't, don't do anything east. Like no, that. no, no, the Cleveland Zoo on, you know, the west side. That's still east. That, that isn't east. Well, it's, it's not east, east, but, like, it's pretty east. <laughs> it's, it's, it's east in the sense yeah, that it's not a good neighborhood. It, it, it's not good. No, she's from that whole area. It's, it's not. You, you won't be able to even walk outside your house. Are, you, you, uh, are you fucking kidding me? No, there's not many places surrounding downtown, like, within that vicinity that are great to live in. But me and John did go to Maple Heights for Grandma's house, and Maple Heights looked looked all right. Yeah, yeah. For, Maple, for that, Ma my mom area. said Maple Heights would be perfect. You know, my, my mom keeps saying that was bad, so <laughs> I don't know. But then I showed her like the the videos we took and the pictures and everything. It, it, it I remember fun. my mom kept saying Glenbrook was really bad, and that's where my one friend lives. Wait, if, if she says if she says Maple Heights is bad and it wasn't actually bad, then does that mean that the area around the Cleveland Zoo is then up for, like, debate? No, I will attest to that. That is not up for debate. Okay. East Cleveland and the zoo, this is around the zoo. 
No, no debate, mate. Okay, I'll say Ohio City isn't great either. Ohio City depends. I mean, there's a lot of places that kind of depends on what in that city, like what areas. But East Cleveland, there's nothing that depends. Don't go anywhere in East Cleveland. Like Lorraine, there's some not great parts of Lorraine, but there's some pretty fine parts. Yeah, downtown Lorraine's okay. Yeah. It's like Elyria. Yeah, Elyria too. Oh, yeah, I think you can. East Lorraine's bad. Yeah. Oh, you could probably oh, check out Elyria. Oh, this, this. I would, oh, I would really check them out. Like, like take some legit time, because you're playing of working it. Green Eagle, I don't know if it's going to be realistic. Yeah, I, I don't think it is going to be realistic. But it's you re you realistically will find a job other than that. Like, you, like, I know where you're at right now. You you, you guys kind of can't find anything else. I mean, there, there are anything. many other places we could go. It's just that it, it, I'm not sure if it would like be as reliable as Wiggles, if that makes sense. At least the, the way we're working right now. Mm. Well, right now, yep. Until I, I, I think I think my mom did say that Ohio City was also an, an option. I think she did say that. Sheffield Lake, is, isn't that the one that's like near Lakewood? Because I know Pura no, is... Sheffield Lake is the no. other way. I know Pura So basically, we're actually between Sheffield Lake and Lakewood. Not right between, we're actually closer to Sheffield, but... Hold yeah. on, um... Lake's so area. basically, it goes. Lakewood's like right next to Cleveland. So pretty much yeah, just yeah. east of Lakewood, you're basically downtown Cleveland. Uh, but anywhere east, anywhere west of that would be like, I kind of think, with, with right next to Lakewood. Mm. You get to like Rocky River, maybe Rocky River, Lake, West Lake. Lake. Okay. Um, and then you get to, you know, Avon Lake and Avon, which is where we are. And then you get. Uh, and then, and then east, the west of that, I believe, is Sheffield Lake. So. Uh, says the average. And then you get to Lorraine and Clearia. It says that the average rent here is eight hundred ninety-four dollars a month. So I'm gonna have to bring that up with mom because that's pretty all right. I would look at specific, actual apart like, websites like apartment things. Yeah, yeah. My my mom. You know, I think my mom like checks Zillow, if I'm right. I would check multiple ones, like Zillow and other ones. Yeah. Because if you buy, buy me something that you'll catch that you wouldn't have, even if it says the average is whatever, a thousand or something, you, you, you'll be able to find, right. you'll be able to find things in like most cities. Right. I'm, like there's no way Ohio City that you can't find anywhere affordable. For example. Um... Anyways, uh, uh, should, should we get back to the discussion know. of the, uh... Um, yeah, I don't know how we got off on that, but... Yeah, yeah. Important, pretty important. Well, what, what city were you trying to do, uh, John, with that, 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 uh, historical society? Uh, that's in Strongsville. Oh. That's kind of expensive out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It must be like Kelly Hobson. Wait, what? Like mostly like, what houses? Like, like most like houses, like not much like rent, like apartments. Probably. Oh yeah, yeah. There might be some. I think yeah. like immediately yeah. around where the uh, historical society is, there's a couple of apartment buildings. But probably not super cheap. Yeah. Mm. Never know. It's good to check every area. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I guess I guess we just have to keep. I guess we're just gonna have to keep checking, honestly, just till something pops up. Um. But but for real, for real, the uh, the the, the Lotaro thing. <laughs> um. Those are the, I posted the two ideas. Right. 
see. Your grandma loves wine. Yeah, one idea. They're having a raffle to win an island vacation. Grandma thinks the trip sounds nice, but you can't buy a raffle ticket because the store had recently gone cashless. The only form uh, payment she has three million cash as she dies. So. Okay, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, we're just focusing on the grandma part right now, which is just supposed to be a one-off joke, and I think, I think right here, <laughs> I think that's good, but we have a, we have a more important part of the story to figure out, and that's the, the everything else. Yeah. What? Let's see. What else? Where are we at? Uh, well, I mean, we could start with, like, you know, the, the very beginning. The this whole thing. I'll post it. I was catching, catching the wave. You catching the wave by Cam. Oh, Taro. Okay, no, that one's all right. That's all right. You know what? I, I, I think, I think we actually already have like the outline to be pretty well solidified mm -hmm. here. I think the more important part would be the, um, would be, uh, I guess, how, in what order does he take on the, uh, the rival, the, the people that, he, in what order does he take on the, uh, people that are sent out to kill him, and, um, how exactly does he defeat them, and what are the powers of the ones that are trying to beat him? Mm -hmm. did, did that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we need to figure out. A bit. That's the the only kind of oh. thing here that we don't really fully have figured out as far as you know the outline goes. So oh, he's surfing. He's surfing on the sea. He's practicing taekwondo on the sea. That's a no-no. He the. He also has rap snacks, and rap snacks are banned. Uh, <laughs> they punish him by 1906 Lively. Funky Town but in China. Um, they make him drink cheese coffee. He fights them off, he gets on a surfboard, and he swims to another island. Yeah. Then they put out a hit on him, and then people start going after him. That's the problem we need to figure and out. And then at some point he finds Grandma, and all that helps him or something. I mean, that's what we need to and figure then, out, though, the, uh... Yes. Who's going after him? Why are they? Um, who's going after him? And how they take him on exactly? And how does uh, Lutaro defeat them? Okay. We have third hand. Third hand has to go after him. Okay, yeah. Th third hand should be maybe the first because they think he's going to be the best, but it turns out to not be. Um, but like, what would his like signature move be? Something with his third hand. I can just dick slaps people to death. <laughs> Something like that. All right, so he's gonna dick slap. He comes in and he's, he's all huge and big, and he's gonna cause goose goose. Um, <laughs> goose goose. Goose goose. But uh, how, how does Little Taro defeat him? So John, the, one of the villains is named Third Hand, who has a huge, uh, but you know what, and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna be. That was third hand. <laughs> yep. And then after that, after him, there's gonna be other people that go after him. Corin and Almonds, the dynamic duo. That they do always. <laughs> after my, you know, Corin and Almonds story. John was actually, I think, the first person that saw that. Remember that swimming, swimming story? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a deep cut. That was like years ago. Yeah, that was, that was quite a while back. Yeah, I wrote it on the board in one of our classes. Yeah, we were, we were like waiting for a meeting at Corona, and they were like, let's go oh, on the and write stories on the board. <laughs> yeah. Corona and Omics. And somehow I just took out one of those papers and gave it out of the con. And now Wolfie's idea. Corona and Omics are back, but they're two people now. One with Corey and one Yeah. Uh, we got a third hand, then we have that. Oh, Delilah's in this. 
Yeah. She, she's the last one that, that's competing before Mr. Advil goes after him. Who, obviously, Mr. Advil's the master. Is it like my my character Delilah, or is it just a character? Yes, it's your character Delilah. Okay. Okay. So, will I be credited? No. I'm not credited. <laughs> okay, I'm saying is before it comes out, I have to get, I have to get, uh, the copyright, and then, and then I have to get Yeah. Uh, hold on here. Uh, let me, let me flip this tape. It's sad. Uh, yep, it is getting sued. <laughs> it's getting uh, sued. <laughs> They must obey your request for a reinvestigation. Use his character list. <laughs> I spelled this okay. A little thorough. All right. Uh, so we've got third hand. We got chlorine and almonds. We got cringe ostrich Delilah. Um, do we need any more than that? I, I no, we're not gonna have time for any more than that. Okay, okay, so now we need to figure out, like, their, um, how they attack and all that, or how they plan on taking Lutaro down, and, you know, how Lutaro takes them down instead. Obviously, well, third hand. Third hand's is, obviously gonna use his third hand. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna try to commit goosh goosh. It's, it's, uh, inevitable. Just what third hand does. Um, so, how does, how does Lotaro stop this? John's good with payoffs. Do you have any idea with, uh, what could happen in this? Or, or, or what part specifically? Yeah, uh, let me spend this, this is, this is very confusing. Um, so, Lotaro escapes. He's on his own island. The disciplinary committee puts out a, a, puts a bounty on his luscious box. There's many who go after him, but only one who really thinks he can get Lotaro third hand. He has something the others don't: goosh goosh and a big <laughs> punis. Um, so that's what we've got for that part. And uh, Lotaro's then going to fight third hand. Third hand's going to use his third hand, and then how do we? How is this just from is, that to Corey and Owens? How does third hand find Lotaro? Um, how does third hand get defeated? Third. Well, that's uh, kind of stuff that, that that's missing L right L now. Lotaro is just kind of like uh, there on the <laughs> island doing his you know surfing taekwondo, and uh, third hand is traveling over there on a boat, and just finds him, I mean, you can't miss him, he's uh, going around the entire island, you know, doing his, uh, doing his thing. Well, I, I thought this was after Latara leaves the island. I mean, uh, the mm -hmm. other island, bro, he's doing this on the he's other on island, island, too. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But he doesn't know the bounty is placed on him. Exactly. So he's just chilling. Yeah, and he, even once he finds out, he's still just so chill, like, he doesn't give a shit, and he just kind of goes back to doing mm -hmm. his thing. Mm -hmm. This is how Latara is, man, he's like, that chill. Yeah, he's super chill. So why does he leave the island in the first place? Because he's, he's going to be killed. They're going to kill him right there and then, and he just doesn't like the okay. vibe. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't like their vibe. Hey, let, me, let, me pin, let me pin the uh, outline. If you go to the Lotaro thing. Okay. That's, that's a lot. Let me try to simplify it. Yeah, we need to make it more clear before yeah. we keep it figuring it out. Yeah. <laughs> so they tried to make him drink cheese coffee. Yeah, they, <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> and that's when he leaves the island. 
Yeah, man. <laughs> Cheese coffee. Like, okay. you know, you know. When you being, put it that way. Being, being funky towned. Nah, 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 man. He's all right with that. Being ling cheed. He's okay with that. But cheese coffee. Nah, man. That's just killing the vibe. <laughs> he's gonna. Kind of, what is being funky town? You don't know funky town? Hold on. I do, but what is being funky town? It's exactly what it. Wait. When I say Funky Town, what are you thinking of? The song. Oh God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I I didn't know you didn't know. What? Okay. I guess I guess I'm gonna have to show you. Um, if you don't want to click on it, don't click on it. But <laughs> let me go to all time. Uh, let me do most viewed all time. It's literally right there. I would be very what like I'm warning you right now. If you don't want to see it, don't don't click on it. But there it is. That's that's funky. What is this? That's what actually Funky Town. That's what it means to be Funky Town. I'm impressed you guys don't know. Wait, what is this? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. No. You shouldn't. Explain it before I click it. It's some guy getting his throat slashed. His face is peeled off. He has what? no eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's a cartel video. That's Funky Town. Oh, ho, ho. I thought you knew. <laughs> is this a meme or something? Why would I know this? It's it's like one of the most like famous cartel videos out there. Let oh, me let me get rid of no, that. I don't see that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll get rid of it. But that's 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 right, well, why. Now I know what we'll Getting funky town. That's yeah, like, that, that's why I, I said. Getting, uh, that's why I said. Like flavor town or something. No, no, no. That's why I said Ling yeah, Chi is like a 1906 funky it. town. It's not at all what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Alright, they punish. They try to funky town him, and he says, okay. And then he's like, the cheese coffee is too much. Exactly. Okay, he escapes. Yeah, yeah. So, so he, so yeah, he he escapes, and that's when the master like brings all the students in, and he picks out the four best students, starting with uh, third hand because you know he's got that third hand in chlorine and almond. What the fuck are they gonna do? We're jump, we're jumping around so much. I know, right? I mean, third third hand's pretty easy to figure out. I, I guess he just gets kicked in the balls or something, and that's how he that's how he goes down. But chlorine and almonds is going to be a bit more difficult. Exactly. What if he's the bounty's on Lotaro, and then third hand hears about it, and there's like this build up, there's this setup. You see him hear about this, and then you see him go off on the journey. But you but then next you see Lotaro at the island. And then Corin and Almonds come to fight him. And so that the whole time Third Hand's trying to find him, so it's this bigger payoff at the end. Because Third Hand's like the big guy under the Master, and then he fights him yeah. before the Master. Yeah, you know what, that sounds like a better idea. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, probably. That, that, I, I'd say that's actually John, a you have a better idea? Okay. Oh, sorry. What was that? <laughs> I was um, busy looking at that, that grandma. House, grandma's house picture. Oh, 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 oh. for a second I there, I say, I'm too busy looking at grandma's. <laughs> I thought, no. For a second there, I no, thought I, you I were going to say. I got distracted for a second. For a second there, I thought you, I thought you were going to say you were busy watching Funky Town. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I said basically, what if the the the, the, the committee puts the bounty out on him, and then you see, uh, you see third hand like hear about it. And this is kind of a setup that I like getting rid of him going out to find him. But then next, he's not the first villain you see. You see Corin and Almonds fight, find Lataro on his island when it comes to showing Lataro. And then we keep seeing all the people. And then the hand later finds him. Like it's a bigger payoff because he's like the bigger guy under the master. Hmm. So then who sends Corin and Almonds? Mr. Advil. Well, the bounty's out, so yeah. the, the bounty. Oh, okay. So everyone's going after him. Yeah, but like you see, third hand go to find him, but third hand doesn't actually find him till later, after a couple people fight him. 
Okay, yeah, I like that. Oh, where to go? Yeah, Del Delilah is just somewhere in the middle. Um, I guess we'll let we'll we'll actually let Soul figure out how Delilah is going to to fight him, because I mean, make it interesting. I mean, you, I mean, my four main characters are not very strong. Well, Delilah, so, well, Delilah, Delilah needs to have. Delilah is the one that goes down immediately or something. The four characters. So uh, I just kind of intend. I mean, probably she'll probably we go down. Down to that. Um, and yeah, she's probably just gonna go down like almost immediately. <laughs> she should go down immediately. Like, just make her cannon fodder. Just you know, have you know, have, obviously have have Lotaro just being like you know, just have a real like action -y scene, and then she just comes in and just gets knocked out immediately or something. <laughs> I, I, I guess we can go with the just immediately punching the cringe ostrich in the face. I, I guess we could do that. The only, the only, the only, the only thing I see is, um, uh, like, what, what species are these, uh, characters? They're all, apart from her, they're all humans, of course. Okay, so so basically, you're just gonna have a bunch of humans, and all of a sudden, this creature comes running. Right <laughs> That's the idea. It's, yeah. It's it's literally. Well, there's talking animals. The, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's some like talking animals on on the island. Yeah. Right. So, third hand getting ready. There's, there's, there's this setup. There's hype. You see him go out to find Lotaro, but then it cuts to Lotaro on his island, just chilling. What if, while he's chilling, he's eating rat snacks, right. and he sees something buried in the hold sand? Hold on, hold on. He digs it up, and he finds, huh? Oh no, no, keep going, keep going. Sorry. Oh, he's chilling on his island. He's eating rat snacks, and then he sees something buried in the sand. He digs it up, and he finds cheesy doodles. He opens the bag of cheesy doodles, and a bunch of animals come out from all over the island. And then he finds out there's a bunch of talking animals on the island. I, I, I guess that would that set up that grandma is somewhere oh, there. I thought you were gonna say the animals come out of the bag of cheesy doodles. <laughs> that that would be honestly. And that's like the start to the musical number. That would be funnier. Oh, that works. Yeah, yeah, that would that would be funnier. That actually is a good time for the number. Yeah, yeah. A musical <laughs> It's never mentioned again afterwards. <laughs> Grandma's on the island, there's talking animals, and they all came out of a bag, and they like sweaters and cheesy doodles, something to do with Wiggles and Raffle. Uh, okay, good night. Yeah. Then they all just go back in the bag and go back underground. Yeah. Yes. Alright. This is what we have. So far. Alright, let's see here. Taro is J chilling. He eats rat snacks and gets banned. <laughs> the simplest. <laughs> He's okay with being funky town. They make him drink cheese coffee. He escapes. The disciplinary committee puts bounty on Taro's luscious locks. You see the third hand get ready, there's hype and set up or something, you goes out to find him. Lotaro chills on his island eating wrap snacks, uh, then he sees something buried, he digs it up and finds uh, cheesy doodles. As soon as he opens the bag, a shit ton of animals come out of the cheesy doodles, a musical number begins. Duo Chlorine and Almond show up to beat up L L Logaro. Um, uh, okay, but, uh, but I mean, how do they do it? Since I mean, obviously, we 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 got we have to figure out how they're gonna do it, though. What would their theme be? What would their weapon be? What would they use? Uh, yeah. Would they use almonds? Would they use pool noodles? Uh, let me with pool noodles. Maybe they use nunchucks. 
What if they both use the same pair of nunchucks? They both hold it on the one pair. Oh yeah, yeah, and they like just fighting. fling, and they just, and they uh, use nunchucks. Like one flings them around, the other holds on and kind of acts like a projectile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they throw each other. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Using nunchucks. That's pretty cool. Uh, John, you got any ideas? Hmm. It's a tough thing to come up with ideas for, because it's so, like, non-linear, but also linear, but confusing. Yeah. <laughs> Very so, odd. I think I would need to know more about these characters, Corey and Almonds. Yeah, let's, let's come up with something for them. I mean, don't you have it written down already what their characters are and, like, the other thing? Oh, Burger Violet, wasn't that her name? <laughs> yeah, but then their name has to be Corey and Alden, so... Yeah, their name... They were... Be. Yeah. I guess... So I guess was, Burger Violet was, like, a swimmer, right? Yeah. German swimmer? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I guess we can make yeah. Corey and Almonds specifically, like, different. Oh, they swam to the island. Because they're... They're Olympic swimmers. Yeah, Olymp Olympic swimmers that come out, and they're also uh, Taekwondo masters with nunchucks. <laughs> and they use nunchucks to yeah. to uh, to throw themselves <laughs> at their enemies. Um, and how... Okay, so if that's the case, how exactly would uh, Lotaro take him out? Like, how would he defeat this problem here? Which he's Especially trained, uh, body-flinging assassins. Olympic swimming German duo, Corin and Almond, show up to beat up Lagaro. Taekwondo masters with nunchucks use the same pair of nunchucks to projectile throw each other at their enemy. Okay. Alright, so that's, um... Maybe the animals do something? Could Grandma show up to save him? Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, we need... Too early? Uh... Grandma should come, like, right at the fucking end. Like, when everything is said and done, he just comes out and everyone starts having, like, you know, a party on the island, of course. Oh. We need we need to find a way for uh, Legaro at this, uh, at this stage himself to take out the, uh, the problem with his, you know, surfing Taekwondo knowledge. Yeah, let's, let's, let's solidify Legaro. Uh, I just called him Legaro. Legaro. <laughs> Um, Lorenzo. Lorenzo, Lucario, whatever. <laughs> Lucario. Um, he's a Taekwondo student who doesn't care, really. He's he's just chilling. And he surfs or something when he does whatever he wants, basically. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He surfs, he eats wrap snacks. Uh, specifically, the What's Cardi his, like, flaw? What's his, like, main thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, you know, we should come up with, like, a flaw for him. Well, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a pretty important part. That's pretty important. <laughs> Me and John's teachers would be just cutting themselves at, in this, at this conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They would have stopped this so long ago. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, like, what does is, what is this character want? That's what they'd be asking. Oh, yes. They would say, what do they want? What do they not want? You know what, that is a very... What's getting in the way of them getting what they want? That is... Oh, yes. I um, mean, all he really wants... A character we like who has a hard time obviously, getting what they want, something like that. Obviously, obviously, Lutaro, he wants to chill, he wants to eat his wrap snacks, and he wants to surf. And these motherfuckers yes. on this island are not letting him do that. So, mm -hmm. you know, he's gotta, he's gotta just kind of like show them that, you know, he knows his Taekwondo and stuff. He just wants to do his stuff. And they just don't see it. And they don't want to hear it from him. And they're going to, uh, 
you know, embarrass him until uh, until they he stops doing what he's doing. So he finds a solution, and that is to run off. But unfortunately, the problem follows him to the other island. So the only thing he has left to do is to just straight up show them in all of his, you know, in his fist of fury, I guess, or whatever, I can't think of the term right now, that, that he knows his shit, and he's going to take out all these assassins to prove that. And maybe, just maybe, when he does that, he'll get what he wants, he'll be able to, you know, eat his wrap snacks and surf around the island like he likes to do, and if he doesn't, then he's just going to make sure that he can and just, you know, pop from island to island if he has to, or just take everyone out and just make sure that he, they just don't ever kill his vibe again. What do you think of what I posted? Huh? What do you think of what he I wants wrote? to chill, eat wrap snacks, and surf. The MFers on the island that the students at won't but what? the motherfuckers on the island that he's a student at there's, there's something wrong with the sentence but I can't I don't know what it is the motherfuckers won't let him okay. do that anyway he just wants to do what he wants to do even if it isn't realistic or logical um, you kind of forget that he also knows like you know the only re like he's doing this because he knows all the taekwondo stuff already and he's you know, he wants to prove it, but they won't let him. You know, they just go straight to the punishments. He runs off, but it gets worse, and he starts to realize he has to do things for survival, not pleasure. I mean... Hmm... You know, that, 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 that last... Seriously, he realizes he needs to. Yeah, you know what, that last <laughs> sentence, I, I like that last sentence, actually. That, that's a that's a good way to, to put it. Um, I guess maybe through this experience he starts to like wisen up and by the end of it, when the master does let him, you know, gives him the, the honor of doing what he wants to do, he decides to devote even more time to, to Taekwondo regardless because he, needs, because he realizes he needs to start taking stuff seriously in his life. Yeah. And that is, he has a flaw that he he just ignores his problems and doesn't face them head on. Mm, hmm. Yeah, you know that that that, that could be that, that could add another layer to this. Or uh, what if like there are other people there? on the island that, that he he could he should protect but he's like no I just wanna chill. Yeah. Or could it would be we with the talking animals? No, on the on the original island. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh yeah, you know, maybe maybe Like maybe there are people that could use his help that he could use his skills for good, but he's like, no, I don't feel like it. Mm. But then by the end, he's like, I should use my skills for good. Yeah, yeah. That's the. I mean, I like that. We just have to figure out like, what, what, what would his taekwon? What was it? Yeah, I'm, I'm fumbling over my words. Who would he be protecting on that island that would benefit from his taekwondo skills? Maybe there are like younger students there that aren't as far along as him and they get like pushed around by the people at the top. Mm, yeah, yeah, I could I could see that. Yeah. And the ma and the Mr. Advil kinda sees this as a way to make them stronger when all it really is doing is kind of making them more of a target or more just punching bags for the people at the top. 
Yeah. And Lorenzo yeah, and is the, the only one that can uh, play the, against them. Yeah, he he no he sees that it's wrong, but he's like eh, I don't care. I just want to chill. Yeah, he he, he he's protector of the squeak. He he he's, he's just chilling and caring about what he wants to care about, as opposed to being the uh, the squeaker, um, the squeaker master, the squeaker protector. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like that. I, I think I think that that was you're writing this down right one, one of you is yeah okay I am all right I I, I think we got that I, I think I think we have a, 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 an outline here I, I think we have our outline for the most part like what if when when coin and almonds come to kill him he ignores them and he lets the talking animals protect him because he has cheesy doodles and he knows that they want him to survive because he has cheesy doodles. I what if I'm in love with the cheesy doodles? What if like every time he opens the cheesy doodles bag, the talk talking animals pop out and start their musical number again? So then when Clary and almonds come, he just mm-hmm. opens the bag again and lets the talking animals jump out and land on him. Yes. And they're like dancing. They're doing their musical number on top of them. Yeah. But then, the, <laughs> then, but then the animals get beaten up, and then they rise on top of the animals. I mean, and you know, he now has to face this problem head on. He can't just you know chillax it away. 